<laughs> now, tell me, what was the month of your birth? Yeah. October. A Gemini and a Libra. A powerful combination, indeed. When Mercury is in retrograde, <laughs> as it is now, a powerful and passionate connection can be formed. <laughs> <laughs> we're not like dating, we're just friends who want our fortunes. We're having this second semester senior existential crisis. What <laughs> 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 stars have to say about our destinies? Funny? Did you say funny? Well, yeah, I mean, astrology and palm reading aren't real science. You have the aura of a STEM major. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is. The major consulting firms recruit in the fall. <laughs> How did he know that? <laughs> and this starts on the internet. <laughs> okay, about my future. I'm thinking of taking a gap year, but I'm worried that it'll set me back. One year doesn't sound like a lot, but one less year of uh, all the things that I need to go into the job market, and I'm really... I don't read the job market. I read something far more beautiful, <laughs> far more powerful, and far more sexy. <laughs> Love. You're meant for each other. You may not see it yet, but you will. My predictions come true always. <laughs> You're right. Astrology is not science. It's all made up. I don't know. I think it might be more legit than I thought. <laughs> not everything you said sounded too crazy. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> 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 The truth is, there are an infinite number of people that in this world you can fall in love with. Every day, you pass by someone who could have the potential to be something more than a stranger, but we never even give them a chance. Most of the time, we don't even look them in the eye. It's all because we are all busy. So I have an easy job. My work is simple. I give two people the time to fall in love. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we're going to get to see Obama. <laughs>
off of The Bachelor? <laughs> nah, I'm better. <laughs> and because of that, I know that this whole lightsaber scheme is getting kind of boring. Things are going too well right now. And stories all the time have, have a outcome that you want to overcome. So it's time for an interruption. I think we should get going. We need to find some place to stay for tonight. If only Google Maps is working. I have a compass downloaded on my phone, but that would involve no needing to know whether we need to go north or south. <laughs> <laughs> There's a light. Let's go see. <laughs> Seems to be some sort of barn with a table that has a candle and two glasses of wine set up just for us. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> Admit that they have feelings. <laughs> this 
is real science, just like astrology. <laughs> to know if I make the next big scientific discovery, and no, never mind. That's all. Let's <laughs> the next question says, what is your worst memory? Oh, that's easy. The winter break where I overflowed the toilet in my house, then used my car to back into my dad's car <laughs> on the same day. <laughs> such a huge part of my life and she left this giant hole that took a long time to fill. <sighs> 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 seven years. <laughs> so, Liam and Sarah graduated from college. They went their separate ways, worked different jobs to figure out their lives, and dated different people. Five years after they graduated, they saw each other in the same city. They met up and over a dinner of Oreos. <laughs> Once again, ask these 36 questions. Two years later, Liam popped another. Oh. <laughs> and now, here we go. Take Liam as your husband? I do. 
Take Sarah as your wife. I do. My predictions are always right. <laughs> <laughs>